Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you in the world, welcome back to a brand new video on the So Red channel. So, today we're going to go through my lineups. Apologies for no video in the last week. First of all, I won no rewards last week at all, despite having some pretty decent players scoring and whatnot. It was just a bad week for me in general, and I was traveling a lot, and I'm getting ill as well. You want any more excuses? I'll reel them off for you. I'll ha I'll reel them all off for you, happily. Uh, so that's why I'm slouched back. And I just, yeah, I feel a bit like death. But United winning 2-1 against Barcelona at home has definitely perked me up a lot. So in terms of last week, 3-4-7, um, I, yeah, I had a bit of a stinker. I don't really know what I was doing with my lineups. I was away when I made them. I was, I was in a hotel room in Paris when I made them. Or was I? I don't know where I was. I can't remember. I've got a really foggy brain at the moment. But I was away... And just made some really poor choices. So, All-Star Rare Pro was a solid lineup. Um, by the fact that Melniak, unfortunately, got ill the day of the game. Um, it was a good matchup for him. Ironically, like, it was between him and um, Jelly Vossen. And I picked Melniak. And unfortunately, he didn't play. Vossen got himself a 60. It's the Super Rare version. So, like... I think it's fair to say, I don't know if I'd have got a tier 1. I don't think I'd have got into 30th, but I'd have got a tier 1. I don't know if 60 with a super rare bonus would have been 78. I don't, I don't even really care enough to work it out. But it might have been. I don't know. If it was, then there you go. Um, Moranchuk, the annoying thing is, I really like Moranchuk, but I have this weird psychological thing with players like Moranchuk that because he's not a big household name, I don't back him. He's a really, really good scorer. I know, sorry, I need to zoom in. I, know, I do apologize. He's a very, very good scorer, very consistent scorer, especially when he's got a good matchup. But because he's not a big name, I just don't really like play him over other players. Like I, I really should have put him into uh, Gas Pro over Teddy Tumor. Um, wouldn't have made a difference anyway, but... Oh, it would have. It would have got me a tier two, like anyone cares. But, um, yeah, I didn't, unfortunately. Um, the Neymar split was good. It was a good idea, unfortunately, though. You know, we'll go on to that in a second. Um, but, yeah, so, a bit unfortunate there. We go to... I mean, Cat 240 Red didn't even get a fresh old. We got 175 points. I mean, I think Ben Khalif had a terrible game. Someone told me it's the worst performance he's ever seen from a footballer, which is funny. And Emre Kamert didn't play. I'm not entirely sure why. Is he injured? We're going to find out because he's in one of my lineups. I have absolutely no idea if he's injured or not, but he's just like... He just misses these random games. Uh, he was just a sub, an unused sub. He just misses random games sometimes. I have no idea why. Anyway, um, Cap 270 Rare, you know... The annoying thing is, like, this was, again, just throwaways. I didn't know Pookie wasn't going to play. Um, Botajin, the GOAT, 100 points. Really annoys me that he just wasted here because, you know, we could have put him somewhere useful, but hindsight and all that. Gori Aaron, right, I'm not kidding. You can literally see the moment I bought Gori Aaron, right? You can literally see the moment. I bought him after this 82-point score. He has not scored above a 44 since I bought him in flipping six games like oh i'm oh, man whatever you know what i'm i'm over it um challenge europe rare pro another one another painful one because robin proper just it was ill on the day melniak and proper both ill like really really unfortunate tadic doing tadic things you know vim put up a respectable 69.5 i don't think that I honestly don't think Go Ahead Eagles score if Proper's on the pitch. Um, from what I've been told of someone that watched the game, apparently, like, defensively, Hilgers and Bruns were just awful. This guy got got hooked off at half-time. Um, literally, when they're 2-0 down, like, yeah, frustrating. Frustrated is not the word. I've had a bad week. Um, it's always annoying. I mean, this, this lineup was 33 points away from a reward with the DMP. Uh, this lineup was 27.4 points away with the DMP. You know, my Man United stack finished 1.95 points away. Now, the annoying thing about this one is Diogo Dallo, big chance missed. Lissandro Martinez, big chance missed. Valt Veghorst, big chance missed. We had the potential to add on another 75-ish points to this and got a tier one. But because we didn't, maybe even more than that, could have got a tier zero potentially. But unfortunately... We didn't. Now, that's to say, if we just scored even one of the goals, it doesn't guarantee that the other ones would have, you know, it doesn't guarantee that the other guys would have got their chances anyway. But you know what I mean? Like the butterfly effect, whatever. But my point is, I'm angry. All right? Let me be angry. Uh, and then, Champion Europe Rare Pro finished 18 points away from a reward. Freiburg kept the clean sheet, which was amazing. I'm really happy about that. Apart from the fact that Ginter, 
uh, must have let, stayed at home and his twin brother must have played because this guy dropped the biggest stink I've ever seen, bro. Four interceptions, zero one tackles, 11 duels lost, like two errors leading to shot, two fouls. What is, what, what happened? It's really frustrating because Ginter is a Rolls Royce defender usually. I'd say usually pretty much since I bought him, he's not been. But, like, you know, he went through this amazing patch before I bought him, before the World Cup. Um, and he's usually a pretty good defender when they keep a clean sheet. Unfortunately, though, yeah. So, quite frustrating. They've got Leverkusen at home. Doubt they keep a clean sheet. Mosh and Gladbach away. Doubt they keep a clean Like, I'm not expecting a clean sheet anywhere now. I am really losing faith in this um, Freiburg little stack here. It's quite frustrating. I'm going to have to think about changing some things up. Um, anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. Nick Pope. I mean, semi-pro, I literally only play because I got Veltman as like a referral reward or something. Didn't even know I could get those. Um, but, yeah, like 32 points away with that red card is quite funny. I don't really care. Again, Mario Rui not playing two games in a row is weird. Um, and then under 23 rare pro, nothing happened because both had pretty terrible matchups. But it's always nice seeing Stressor get on the score sheet, you know? Anyway, yeah, tough old week for your boy. Tough old week for your boy. Um, I don't even know what I was doing with this. Like this, you know, I mean, 34 points away. Varane didn't even play. Could have got a reward there as well. Don't know what I was doing. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it's tough, man. Very, very tough. Sorry, this is a lineups video. I don't know why I'm just moaning. Like I'm just complaining the whole time. So let's go into my lineups. Under 23 Rare Pro, we start off with Genk against Ustend. This is a home fixture for Genk against 17th in the league. I am very, very confident in my Genk stack. However, historically, they've let me down quite a lot. So we'll see. And then Jesper Carlsen at home to Camber. Like, you know, yeah. Um... Cap 240 is basically my throwaways. I have my my lowest L15 goalkeeper because I don't I don't know about the MLS at the moment and like you know good matchups or not. We have uh, Ben Khalifa against um, that team at home. I've never heard of them, which is actually a good sign. I think maybe it's like a newly promoted. Team. I, don't, I don't know. We have a relegation battle in Leeds versus Southampton. We have Loverich at home against Spezia, and then we have Myung Ju. Literally. This is a full lineup of rewards. That is awesome. I've just realized this is a full lineup of rewards. Let me win. Get a tier two super rare. Bash. Uh, sorry. I, I don't know what I'm even on about. I'm, I'm ill. and I, My brain's foggy. Um, Severa. Bossagin. Debushi. Schultz. Poyan Palo. Did Schultz play the last game? Because I know he spent some time on the bench. He's been a naughty boy, apparently. Um, where are you at, Schultz? What, what's his name again? Marvin, right? Marvin Schultz. Marvin Schultz. Did you play the last game? Should I be worried? You did play the last game at centre mid. Got hooked off of the 60th. Don't really know. But we move. Anyway, we'll see what happens. In turn, he's against Paderborn at home. I don't know at all. I know I know Paderborn with, in, in the Bundesliga at one point in the last few years because they had a really <laughs> really expensive SBC on FIFA. I don't know. Um, but we have Debushi, who is um, at home to Dion Mustard. Uh, then we have Bossigen, I think, at home to Benevento. We have uh, Severa at home to Cartagena. We have all, five home fixtures here. You know, you never know. To be honest, I think Poyan Palo is actually a bit too good to waste in this lineup, but, like, I don't really, you know... I, again, like, I still don't really know. He's a good scorer, but then has random games where he doesn't score, and it's like, I don't really know, like, where I stand on this one, because I'd love to go and play him in Gas Pro, because um, I do have confidence in the boy, but at the same time, I, I just don't know anything about him, to be honest. I don't know how good he actually is. Cap 270 is four DMPs. Vito's in there. I have nowhere else to put Vito. His L15 is a bit too high for all my other capped modes. I don't really have anywhere to put him. So he's just in there. Glorified training team. Pfeiffer's not back. Bad Air's not even in it. Schaefer's, you know, injured. Kemp, I believe, is injured this week. Shuhen feels like a bit of a waste, but again, I have nowhere to put him and they've got a terrible matchup. So yeah. Uh, Cap 240 Super Air. My first ever full Super Air lineup ever in my life, I think. I might be lying, but here we go. Uh, we have Flecken and Ginter at home to Bayer Leverkusen. If they keep a clean sheet, we could be in for something cool. Uh, Dario Melniak, if he's not ill, he's away to Dinamo. Probably going to lose. Probably going to score about 25 points, but we see. Uh, Leo Mikic away to Red Bull Salzburg. I am not confident at all for Mikic. He is like, you know, 
I can't lie to you, he's actually not very good. He's not bad, he's very average, but he's cool because he's got a very low L15 and then Jelly Vossen at home to Courtrike. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, I would love Threshold, man. A little cheeky little 83 euro Threshold, I'm buzzing, man. I don't, I'm not playing this try and win a Super Air, but I've never won a Super Air, so if I could win a Super Air, that'd be awesome. But at the same time, like, uh, you know. Um, do we have any more lineups to have a look at? We do, we have the big boys now. So, All-Star Rare Pro, we have Mary and Kim and Jay away to Empley. They're in fantastic form. Kim and Jay just dropped 100 off of zero decisive, 74. Two point something AA, like I could kiss him on the lips. Uh, we have Joshua Kimmich at home to buy, sorry, at home to Union Berlin. No idea. Um, Kimmich is just a Rolls Royce, so he'll probably score really well regardless. Um, although I'm not gonna lie to you, like, <sighs> I don't know. Like, recently Kimmich has been dropping those stinkers a little bit more often than usual. I'm not gonna lie to you, he's dropped more poor scores in the last like how long than he has for the like literally like uh, you know he, give give me this form please Kimmich I'm begging you uh we have Dusan Tadic away to the test I'm hoping Tadic bangs and then we have Pansil at home to Ustend come on Joseph I know there's an injury doubt but I've been told apparently he's going to play so you know we hope and then we have Challenger Europe Rare Pro now luckily I have two Tadic's because I won a reward so what I've done Last time I didn't back Twente, I say didn't back, I didn't back Twente, right? They kept a clean sheet against Ajax and I missed out on a reward because I put them in some dead lineup and it was really stupid of me, right? So here's my thought process. This is a win-win for me. I've nowhere to put Tadic that, is a, that, that makes any sense, right? I can't make a lineup out of nothing that actually has potential, right? So my thought process is, you know, Veerman, Proper, Smal, Unistal all have terrible matchups, right? Play them all in the same lineup. Tadic has banger potential. If he gets 100 points, if 20 keep a clean sheet, it doesn't affect Joe Veerman at all, realistically. He's not a striker, so he's not scored zero goals or whatever. He can still get a fantastic AA game. And you, you never know. We could see, like, this could this could be good. This could be good. We could, like, Joe Veerman's capable of getting those 70s, 80s AA. Proper and Smal are capable of getting those 60s, 70s, 80s AA as well. You know, Unistal gets peppered a lot but is a fantastic goalkeeper so i am i'm not confident with this one but it's like i'm not completely throwing it away that's why i'm happy i've got two tadages now because i don't have to completely throw it away then we have all-star rare which is actually really unfortunate because this is a fantastic lineup kind of i don't know how good this matchup is probably don't keep a clean sheet with riesgo but i don't know if if coma starts or not i have no idea i don't know anything about him realistically but tumor's great against westerlo should do all right carlos heel is carlos keel um psg away to marseille look th these three all have away games they're all absolute smashes but also could play poorly so my thought process is you know this has a, a strong potential of getting something right also could get nothing who cares whatever anyway um sorry i'm ill so if i've made no sense in this lineup video i do apologize i can now go and build my like my amateur lineups. I don't like building them and having them all clogging this video up and whatever. I'm going to go build them now, though. But I do want to say, shout out to So Rare. The dark mode is sexy. Big fan of the dark mode. Really, really like it. So Rare. It is class. Keep it up. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it a lot. Uh, I don't know what the... Oh, Kick Off Unique. They want me to play Kick Off Unique. Bro, for what? No. Get out of it. Thank you for watching, though. do appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.